Welcome everybody to a new episode of the Architect's Notes. Today we will see very quickly, because it's very simple, how to convert lines into polylines. Um, I've drawn here three, three rectangles, three squares and one line, uh, just to show it very quickly, different ways of doing it. The first way is just selecting, you see, there are four different lines. You select all of them, you come to Modify, and you click here, Join, and there we go, we have a polyline. If we go now to Properties, we see here, this is a polyline, and we see all its properties. We see the area of the polyline, the area enclosed, the total length, blah blah blah. Number two is the same, but just selecting and typing join, it's just the same, just writing it, or even a J should work, should work like that. A different way is, I want to show you this because it's uh, it's important or is good to know for this number four. If you don't like to have separate, like independent lines floating around and you just, you get annoyed like me, just having lines, you can just select one line, type P, edit, it comes from polyline I think, polyline edit, you type P it, enter, and here it asks you, do you want to turn it into one, into one polyline, type yes, enter, and there we go. If we select it now, we see that it's a polyline. Sorry, just so you see, I think it's clear for everyone, but a polyline has this small like squeezed uh, square in the middle whereas a uh, normal line just is three squares you see it that's the that's how you uh, that's how you know when it's a polyline or a line uh, also if you want to add a vertex here for example you just hover over it and then add vertex there you go but this is not the point today um, and now, sorry, coming back to the polyline uh, and lines, we can just do the same we did here, but to join different ones. Yeah, we type bid it. Well, let's um, let's select one for example. We type bid it. Enter. We type enter again for Y is yes. And now we can just go to join select this, 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 and this, and enter again. And there you go, you have a polyline. This is it, very easy, very quick, and very useful. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, uh, we'll keep uploading more videos about AutoCAD, Revit, Rhino, and other programs. Thank you very much, and see you next time.